Here we go, the girls have sickening plan for George Washington Monument. President Trump recently held a press conference to discuss America's infrastructure, and naturally, reporters wanted to ask questions about the event which transpired in Charlottesville, Virginia, and the sweeping trend of Confederate monuments being taken down. While answering a question, President Trump pointed out that both George Washington and Thomas Jefferson, both former presidents, also were slave owners, and President Trump sarcastically suggested that their monuments be taken down as well. Liberals, in their infinite wisdom, took President Trump to heart, and have started to suggest that George Washington monuments along with those of Thomas Jefferson should be taken down. In one extreme case, liberal protesters in Memphis, Tennessee, have tried to dig up the remains of Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest. Isaac Richmond, who is with the Commission on Religion and Racism, seems to think digging up the remains of Confederate General Nathan Bedford Forrest will somehow eliminate racism. If he's gone, some of this racism and race hate might be gone. We got a fresh shovel full, and we hope that everybody else will follow suit and dig him up. The city of Memphis has voted to move the remains of Bedford Forrest, but this was not good enough for these liberal protesters. In New Orleans, the Confederate statue of Jefferson Davis, who served as the President of the Confederate States of America, was taken down in the middle of the night. Again, city leaders were justifying their erasing of American history because it may be offensive to some. Little do they realize, along with these protesters demanding the removal of these Confederate statues, they are becoming no better than the ISIS terrorists who destroyed statues of their own when they took over towns and cities. Yet, in Seattle, Washington, there is a statue of Lenin, who along with Stalin is responsible for the death of millions of Russian citizens. The militant outleft is only interested in erasing true American history and rewriting their version of it. David Barton, who is an accomplished author and historian has reiterated this sentiment. Confederate memorials would not need to be taken down if we still truly taught American history. I can stand below the statue of Jefferson Davis, and although there were many good things that he did do, particularly before he joined the Confederacy, I can make his statue a positive helpful lesson by telling what we can learn from his life, including the bad that he did. Mr. Barton continued, explaining the obvious that liberals have no interest in the truth but only what is comfortable, and what they deem is good for the collective. I could explain the devastation, humiliation and tyranny that results from him having a philosophy that sees people not as individuals but only as part of groups, and that tries to interpret the Constitution apart from the values of the Declaration of Independence. Of course, progressives, liberals and the courts are doing that now. I wonder where that will lead? History clearly tells us, if only we still knew that history. Ironically, it is the Democratic Party who are tied to the Confederacy, a convenient fact that Democratic politicians seem to forget or choose not to acknowledge. All of the Confederate statues which the city of New Orleans plans to remove, including Jefferson Davis, PGT Beauregard, and Robert E. Lee are all intended to honor Democrats and the Confederacy which was led by Southern leaders of the Democratic Party of that day. However, mixing liberals and facts is like mixing oil and water. Author Scott Greer who wrote No Campus for White Men, a book detailing how American college campuses have turned into hate-filled indoctrinations for the left commented on this trend of Confederate statues being removed. It's an attempt to wipe out any pride Southerners should have in their heritage. It's the same kind of process we see on college campuses, where anything white people did in the past tends to be demonized. The left is driven by a desire to interpret all of history through the eyes of 21st century progressive dogma. In their eyes, everything about the American past is bad and shameful and must be driven into the dirt. American history is full of heroes, villains, and simple people who did extraordinary things. And yes, there are some questionable periods in American history. Does this mean we should follow a policy of erasing history and destroying monuments from periods where some are suddenly offended? For eight years these statues and monuments stood while Obama was in office yet not a peep from the left. Donald Trump gets elected President of the United States, and since the left-wing snowflakes didn't get their entitled anointed one, 
They are attacking everything they can to lash out against the true America and our history. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. Comments.